make sure that I am completely set up. Hi everyone. I I don't speak Spanish, so <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. I'm excited. I'm trying to think of what kind of look I want to do. If I want to do something Hmm. I kind of have something in mind. Okay, I am gonna get started. Hi. Okay, so first I already did my brows, which I normally don't do, but I wanted to save that time. So usually what I do is I start off with the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist. And it just, like, it really helps me wake up in the morning because I wake up and go to work and I sleep really hard. <laughs> so I'm just gonna spray this all over my face and then I just take a fan and it just, that just cools my face down and it really helps me to wake up. Hi, hi. This is so cool. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna spray my face. You have to shake it up because it's gotta get mixed up inside there. And then I just bought a fan and I just, it just, it really cools my face, so. It just kind of wakes up my skin for me. Yay, thanks for sharing. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna start off with is the Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm just gonna, I start off with my eyes first It's so weird without like music, but. This goes a long way. Like I feel like I'm gonna have this for a really long time. So I'm just going to. I'm gonna go poop. Okay. 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 Use the toilet paper. <laughs> okay. I like to just do it with my finger. Um, sometimes I do it with a brush, but sometimes if you get too much product, you can blend it out really easy with your finger and I don't know where my brush went to. They're not in here, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. And then I'm just taking a baby wipe to wipe my fingers off because they're life. Okay, well, you're going to have to wait, okay? Can you wait? Go on the other one then. No, Okay. Okay, so I'm just setting it with the Laura Mercier. Really, really, really light. I use the tape shape, the tart shape tape concealer. Fame, please turn your music down. Same, please. 
Usually my boyfriend's home with us on the weekends, but he had to go run and do something, so. It's just me and my boy home. So I'm sorry if I have to like leave for a quick second to go help him with anything. Oh, thank you. Make sure my shirt's pulled up and everything. Okay, um, trying to think of what I wanna start with. I have so many options and Okay, I'm going to start off with the Jaclyn Hill palette, and let's see, I'm going to take, what do I want, what do I want, I'm going to take, let's see, this color right here, it's kind of, it's kind of yellowy, so I want that as my transition color. Thank you, Armani. Okay, and then I'm just going to put that all over my lid. I hope I said your name right. I've watched enough of your videos that I should have said it right. Chloe. Okay, good. <laughs> Yes, please share it. Please. I think I'm gonna do some reds and a half cut crease maybe and some glitter liner. It's gonna take me a minute to warm up because I haven't I haven't actually gone live in like so long. Well, at least it feels like it. I think the last time I went live was, it's been a few months. I'm just making sure that I got this really blended. to like play music in my head and jam out. <laughs> so, what's everybody else doing on this Sunday? Anything fun? I haven't really done anything fun. I went and did makeup for a girl for her photo shoot and then I came back home and got completely set up for this, so. What's everyone else doing? Sunday fun day, should be doing something fun, right? you guys want to see anything in specific or just kind of whatever I want to create because I kind of want to go well I kind of already told you guys what I wanted to do but that's like my go-to but it's like dramatic a little bit I guess for most people it is well that's fun Many mornings. <laughs> Mondays are tough. Gotta find that motivation to get up and get the week going again. Okay, I'm almost done blending this color on my lid. I feel like eyes, brows, and eyeliner take forever. I just like to make sure that it is blended. I don't 
don't speak I don't speak Spanish <laughs> so I don't know what you guys are saying I wish it kind of automatically did like a um, translation for me so that I could understand what everyone is saying like in the comments Hi, wow, Boston. Okay. Oh. Yeah, gonna need someone to translate for me probably throughout most of the video. <laughs> Yeah, I can definitely do your makeup. Just let me know when it is and I will come out there and I can do it for you. Hi. Okay, moving on. I think I'm going to, I'm gonna stay with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to, I'm gonna pick up this brighter, it's like an orangey red color, so. I'm going to use a little bit smaller brush than the one I just used. Bring some color into my life. Hi. And now I'm gonna just stay right under the work that I did. Full face. Are you, are you like somewhere close around? My price, well, if you inbox me, then I'll let you know just kind of what you want and everything. Cause sometimes some people really want really simple stuff and you know, I like to just vary the price depending on what you kind of want. So if you want to talk to me about prices, go ahead and just inbox me and share 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 the video oh wow hey coda thanks for coming to join me yes share let's go people You guys are gonna see me like blending for like ever. But... It's like, it looks good right here and then I turn and I'm like, why does it look weird on the camera? Thank you. This color is making me hungry. I don't know if it's the color or if I'm just really hungry. I'm a little bit hungry, but this color like makes me think of food for some reason. So, I don't, like I said, I haven't been live in so long, so I feel super awkward about it. And I don't know why, because I'm not a shy person. Like I'm completely, but I just, I don't know why I feel so shy right now. What are you guys eating for dinner? <laughs> Talk about food. I can talk about food all day. Yesterday I went and had frozen yogurt and they have the boba in them. Or they have the boba that you can get to put into the frozen yogurt and it is amazing. But they, they had the, I think they were mango ones, but I don't really like artificial mango. So I don't really get them, but I like the red ones. I think they're like cherry or something.
Still blending, yes, yes we are. Now I'm going to move to an even, even, to an even smaller precision brush, and I'm going to take same palette. Going to take the deeper red, and I'm just going to stay right in that corner. Let me know if you guys, if I'm like too far over here or if you guys can't see, but I'm going to grab my mirror right here. A lot of you watching, do you guys do makeup? Ooh, that sounds good. I'd like to know, do a lot of you do makeup? And then I start to kind of drag it out. And then I just kind of do it really lightly to keep that blended. So it's going to look crazy right there until I get it going. Do you guys ever get like hand cramps? Sometimes my hand kind of cramps up and then it like doesn't want to move anywhere. It could just be me though. How long have you been doing makeup for? It's the Jaclyn Hill palette. They have it at the Morphe store. Or you can just go on Morphe and order. I don't, I don't, I think they still have it. Cause I know I was trying to get it for like the longest time and every time she'd put it back out, I'd miss it. So I think, I think now they just kind of, it's just in store. It's kept in store. I don't live in LA. I am actually from Utah. Small town in Utah. Nothing too crazy. I was in LA and then my car broke down. Thank you. Okay, I will. No, I ordered it online because she, it was like, she was releasing them and then they'd, they'd sell out really fast. So it was kind of hard to get in there. Okay, I'm gonna go even darker, but the black that I'm going to use, I'm gonna use black. Don't ever be scared to use black. Just use a little bit and then build it up. I feel like a lot of, even I get kind of scared, but if you use it just a little bit and build it up, you'll be just fine. So this is the Morphe, what is this? 25B. And I'm going to take the really, this isn't black, this is really dark brown. And then I'm gonna put black on top of it. So I'm really going to focus on the corner. And I'm using a really light hand. Hmm. 
Not yet. Kind of then? Almost? Um, kind of. That's awesome. I wish I could have done that. That is awesome. I actually just got it right before, or no, I got it when I got back from LA, and then the seminar that I went to, she was telling us that she just literally went over to the Morphe store and picked it up. And I was like, dang it, because I could have just, I could have done the same thing. And I would have had my palette for that seminar, because it, it was a makeup seminar. It was with Makeup by Giselle. And she said she just barely picked it up, and I was like, shoot, if I would have known they were gonna have it in stock, in stock in store, I would have definitely picked it up. I would have loved to use it for the seminar. But the seminar was really cool. And then my car broke down. <laughs> I almost got it after the second restock, and then I was waiting for it to load, it didn't do nothing and it kicked me out and then I went back in to go back see to go back and see and it was it was gone they were sold out just like that my car oh my gosh do you guys want to hear the story Oh my god, I can't talk. Do you guys want to hear the story about my car and what happened to me in LA? Like I said, I'm like 11 hours away. I'm in Utah. And my car broke down. I, how old do I look? No, I'm just kidding. I am 24. Okay, so I was, I'll just tell you guys the story anyway, because I don't really know what else to talk to you, talk about. Um, but I was in LA, I went to my makeup seminar, my car had overheated right before the seminar. I'm picking up the black in the Jaclyn Hill palette. My car overheated, so we put coolant in it, thought it, that it was, you know, it was good and everything. And after the seminar, we tried to head back and we were gonna make it to St. George Right as soon as we got 30 minutes out of California on the freeway, my car overheats really fast and died completely dead. And we were able to, luckily there was an exit right there, so the car just coasted down. And we didn't quite make it to the gas station that was right there either. So here I am in a dress and we had to push the car like over this hump and we waited for um, the tow company to come and get us for three hours. That's a long time to be sitting in a car. My son fell asleep. Me and my boyfriend were awake, waiting for the tow company. Finally they come, three hours later. And we got towed to a car dealership and we slept in the car. Which, I mean, it's not a big deal because we go, my boyfriend does dirt bike racing, so we do a lot of camping and everything, so, it, I mean, it was fine. But, woke up, waited for the dealership to open, bought plane tickets, and I flew for the first time. No, we didn't get to the, we didn't quite make it to the gas station. It was kind of up a hill. It, like, the exit came down, and then the, um, gas station was up on a hill and so we didn't quite make it to it so um we bought we, blah, we bought plane tickets and i flew for the very first time in my life which was really crazy and scary but it like i was really nervous but then once we actually got on and it was it was totally fine and it was just like super surreal very surreal feeling because I'm like, I've waited for this for a very long time to actually fly on a plane plane, and, you know, not let my anxiety get to me. So it was, it was amazing. And I definitely want to fly more now. Anything beats that 11 hour drive back home. I'm just kind of going back and adding some color that I might have lost. 
Yeah, but it was super tiny gas station, so we're just like, we'll just wait in the car because we had all our stuff in there. Um, so coolant, my pump broke, I guess. The pump broke on my engine, or yeah, my coolant pump or something broke. And it got into the engine oil, which ruins it, and my engine is completely just trashed. Okay, we are finally moving on from that eyeshadow. I am taking the NYX White Base Primer. I'm going to, Thane, please turn it down. I don't think you can hear me. Thane? Thane? Please turn it down. I got asked. Thank you. I love I've had my nose rings for like ever. Very, very long time. Same. Turn it down, please. Where did my mirror go? Okay. Now I'm going to cut out my crease. I'm looking up to give it that stamp so I can see where my line needs to go. If you're gonna do it yourself. You have to wait. No, I'm not. Why don't you go poop your bed? Go ahead. Did you? Get the other one. No, it's stupid. <laughs> no, this one. Oh, Thank you. I want to go and get a bathroom. I'm going to get a bathroom and poop. And when I get over here, I just feather it really gentle. Like that? Come on, Mom, get in here. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate all the love. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. The key is to start with the lightest color, working your way to the darkest. And then another key is to start with a large brush, move your way to a smaller brush, and it just gives you that precision. precision. Thank you guys for sharing. I appreciate the love. I really, really, really do. No, it's totally fine. I'm here for the fun, so it doesn't bother me at all.
Okay, I'm almost done cutting this out. Thank you. What is NYX? NYX is a, or NYX. It's just a makeup brand. They have tons of, tons of, tons of stuff. Oh yeah, it's NYX. The white base primer. Mine's kind of dirty because I use it all the time. Okay. Now to pick a color, which I should have done before I did that. Um, I'm really just loving this Jaclyn Hill palette. And I like want to stick with it, but then I don't know. A gold would be really pretty. Yeah, it's a primer. Colors, colors. I don't know if I should go gold or the lighter color. I really think the lighter color would just like really cut it out. We're gonna go, we're gonna go with that. And then some people like to set it, um, I don't. I just kind of go right in after I've applied this. Go ahead. You have to turn your iPad volume all the way down. Okay. Okay, I'm taking the Morphe M167 and it's just kind of small till <gasps> that would be fun wouldn't it oh my gosh you guys <laughs> oh you know what there's a till in here I didn't even know I thought I was gonna have to go run and grab another palette because I wasn't ready for that but you know what I'm gonna do it we're gonna go, we're totally gonna rock it. Okay. So, yeah, so this one does have a tail in it, surprisingly. You guys probably noticed it because you guys have been watching and I'm just kind of diving in. So I'm gonna take this one right here. I honestly wasn't gonna go with that. I was just gonna kind of go with something I usually stick with because I know I can make it work and stand out. So I'm just, I really want to make sure that this is going to stick good. Okay. So I pick some up on my brush and I'm just after, hold on. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of the white base primer. I want to make sure that it's white so that when it applies, it'll be like super bright. Okay. I do have, um, I will spray it. After I put it down, I will spray it with the MAC Prep and Prime. Okay, pack it, pack it, pack it. Just completely pack it on there. Ooh, I have a, I know what glitter um, liner I'm gonna use for this. I just got super excited about it. Wow, this is so pigmented, oh my goodness. I'm excited to see how it turns out. It is bright, yeah it is, huh? <laughs> it is definitely popping out. I don't think I've, I've never used these two colors together. Wait, 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 wait. I did a blue the other day. 
I actually can't remember what I used, but I used blue. I can't remember if I used the browns or what I used for it. Pop it in there. And then just like how I did the um, primer, that's how I'm going to do the eyeshadow. I kind of feather it in and that helps to give it a more blended look, at least for me. So I'll go back in and put some more of that color that's down here. You can see it's kind of got like, what is it called? The hologram kind of effect to it. So, okay, ready to move on to the other side. I actually didn't need to spray it because it is so like just it is so pigmented. Okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. Thank you so much. Share it up, share it up. I definitely appreciate it. It is from the Jaclyn Hill, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. My mouth's all open like, just tell me to close it. <laughs> Have flies flying in my mouth. I know I've got my mirror like super close to my face. That's the only way I can tell if I'm getting it just exactly how I want it. <sighs> All right. We're almost done getting this color on. Pop it on there. This look was, this look took an awesome turn, but I'm excited. I promise I'm almost done. Um, huh? Are you done? No, my Oh, you'll have to go plug it in. Yeah, just set it right there, and then you can plug it in. Okay. Okay. I think I'm done putting it on there. Make sure that it's completely set on top of that. Then I'm going to take that brush I used earlier and picking up the dark red again. And I'm, done. And I'm just going to blend it out. Okay, hang on one sec. Yes, share it up. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Hang on just one sec. I have to do something for my boy. I'm sorry. Okay, what were we doing? Blend more blending because we're just never done blending. So 
So after I've done this, especially when I use color like this, I've got to go in and I've got to like pack that color right in there so it's perfectly blended out. Blend for days. Yes, I did. I had to run and go there because we were using it because I'm taking pictures of the products at work. So I thought I'd bring my ring light because it really did help out like a ton. You guys are crooked. Okay, sorry. So. Luckily the owner the owner's son let me back in. Okay, I am done blending. We're gonna move on to liner. Okay, so the thing about liner is, you know what, actually, no, I have a mirror right here. I have to hang on to my eye when I'm doing my eyeliner. So the eyeliner I'm gonna use is from Wet n Wild and it is the Mega Liner. And we're gonna get this. Let me add the inner corner. So I'm just taking a very small brush like this. I'm going to pick up that NYX white base primer again and I'm going to put it right in that center. And I'm kind of stiffling it a little bit so it's not too harsh. I know, thank you so much by the way. I know, when I was doing that, I was like, oh no, this is so bad. So that was, yeah, you, you know how that ended. I had so much fun though. I was surprised by how much stuff I found at the dollar store. I'm going in with the Artist Couture and this is in Gold Digger. This is what I always use for my inner corner. So if you guys wanna go watch my new tube video. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I really, really do. But yeah, if you guys wanna go watch my new video, I just put up it is the $1 makeup challenge. It was fun. I had a lot, a lot of fun with it. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like, we got a new dollar store, so that's what gave me the idea for it. All right, we are moving on to eyeliner. Someone wanna tell me how long I've been on here? I didn't bring anything to tell me what time it is to keep track. So I'm going to be asking you guys. All right. I'll just move this a little bit closer so I can see what I'm doing and you guys can see what I'm doing. So I start out with the outer wing. Oh goodness, okay. I'm going to do the same to the other side and we are gonna hope that they are even. Move you guys this way just a little bit. Close enough. All right. As soon as we get the liner over with, like everything is gonna go just fast. <laughs> I 
Have you guys seen the It movie? Oh my goodness. Honestly, it wasn't that scary to me, but it was good. Like, it was good, and I definitely did get scared on some parts. I'm not knocking it. I'm just, for me, it wasn't that scary. But for others, I know some people have, like, phobias of clowns, so it was like, yee! Definitely left me feeling very creepy. I'll come get you. I'll come get you, okay? Okay. Okay. Hello, everybody. Okay. I'll live in the street. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'll live in the street forever. <laughs> I live in the street. <laughs> Alright, okay. I'm moving on to the other side. Hello. Can you let Chloe outside, please? Oh, so she can go potty? Bye-bye. He loves to be on camera now. He even tries to do his own vlogs. He'll like have his iPad and then he's like, hey everybody, today, I'm like, yeah, he's watched me way too much. I'm a gangster. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay. Bye bye, everyone. I'm going back to my poopy face. You guys are poopy face. Okay. I am just about done with this. Sam, can you close the door, please? Huh? Close the door, please. <laughs> that door, please. Thank you. I know, that's so funny. They're too funny. Okay, done, 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 done. Okay, moving on. Okay, can you go put this over there? Thank you. Right there. All right, we're gonna move on to foundation. Okay. I've got, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born this way. I have, I have oily skin, like my oil sometimes, I just can't get it under control. Um, what I found that does help is the L'Oreal Infallible and then the Too Faced Born This Way. I do sometimes vary between the Milani and the Clinique, but the Milani is actually really kind of makes me, makes my oil come out more. And then setting it with a really good setting spray is what also helps keep me under control. Okay. So I'm going in with this and I'm gonna use my beauty blender. And I've already dampened it. We're just gonna go right in. Oh, you know what? I forgot to clean up my eyeshadow underneath my eyeliner. Take my baby wipe. And I'm just gonna clean up any eyeshadow that's underneath the eyeliner.
I thought about doing my foundation beforehand, but I always do it after I've done eyeshadow, so I don't know how that would have worked for me. It's not something I'm used to doing. But I would have done it to save like more time. Reverse smoky eye, where it's dark, dark in the corner, on the inner corner. I haven't. I think I know what you're talking about though. I've seen like reverse eyeliners. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I've even seen um, reverse. Uh-uh, not yet. I've even seen reverse eye sh eyebrows. I don't know if you guys have seen any of those. Same. It's so quiet. Sorry, I'm like right here in my mirror. Yeah, I've seen the French braid one, but like it's totally fake, obviously. Um, but I do know how to use Photoshop <laughs> and I've thought about doing it on my, on mine. Cause I mean, obviously that's what theirs is. Theirs is Photoshop because you, I mean, if your eyebrow hair is long enough to be doing it, then yeah, go for it. But I don't really know anyone whose eyeshadow or eyeshadow whose eyebrows are that long, so I don't know. How do you guys feel about it? The braided eyebrows. Okay, I'm gonna pick up my Laura, Laura Mercier powder. And I'm going to set underneath. I've seen the drawn on ones, but the drawn on ones aren't the same. Aren't the same as the photoshopped ones. <laughs> I mean, I get it. They're funny. They're cool. Um, they're not my thing. Same. Your chips. But they're fun. If you like it, you like it. Like, you know, I'm not shaming it. It's just not my thing. Gonna kind of let that sit for a second. Um, and then I just kind of like to start cleaning up as I let that set. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start putting glue on my lashes. So these are my go-to lashes. Like these are what I absolutely love. And um, I, I play around with other lashes, but these, I just, I always go back to these. Thank you. Uh, they are the Eler 126. I, oh my gosh, I just love them so much. So, I'm going to go ahead and start getting glue on them. Glue it up, glue it up. Glue it up, glue it up. Glue it up, glue it up. Put glue on it. All right, I'm using, this is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Alloy. Same. 
I want to start doing some Halloween makeup too. But I'm trying to think of what exactly I want to do. What does everyone want to see? I ordered some paint, some makeup paint and everything to come in. So I really, really want to start doing videos on that. So if you guys want to let me know what you guys want to see, that would be super awesome. Okay, and then the the way that they sit, I can just put glue on them and put them down and like they're good. I can just let them chill while I am doing other things. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and put glue on them. Glue it up, glue it up, glue it up. I use a lot of glue. I want to make sure these babies are going to stick. All right, let's dust this crazy stuff off my face. Like I said, I have oily skin, so I want this to be like set. I look white, but after it sits on your skin, like it starts to oxidize and everything, and it's good. Okay, we're going to add color underneath. Should we add red or blue? No. I think we're gonna add, we're gonna go with red because if I go, I don't know how the blue is gonna look. I don't know if it would look that good because that's a lot of blue. So let's go ahead and just add, take my bigger fluffy brush and we are going to, do you guys ever forget your lashes? Like I will put glue on mine and like I, like I said, I just kind of let them sit there and dry and I'll start to do other things and then I forget about them. I'm like, oh, and then I have to re-glue them. Do you guys ever do that? So for this, I'm picking up that bright orange that or that bright red orange that we used in the beginning. Next, I'm taking the smaller brush and I'm gonna take the darker red. Same. What are you doing? And then, so I'm taking the darker red and I'm getting it more close. I'm getting it a lot closer to my lash line. And I'm gonna stay along the lash line instead of how I just kind of blended that. So pretty much after I get the lashes done, that's when I'll be basically just like take off. Thank you guys for sharing. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for sharing it. Okay. We're gonna add lashes before they, before they dry, because I'm telling you, I will forget my lashes and then I'm gonna be mad at myself. But I'm gonna wipe this off my lips. So some say that they can keep the thing. What? Some say that they can keep the foundation on their lips and then put lipstick on. I can't. Like, the lipstick starts to get nasty and it starts to just, it doesn't look good for me. So I just wipe it all off, wipe off all the foundation. Thank you. Group 
decision. They're like, do the till. And I was like, yes, let's let's do the till. And it was good. Then can you take that in the other room, please? Please. Oh, lashes. I almost forgot what I was doing. Okay. Pick them up and slap them on. Sorry, I'm like way over here. Thank you. Uh, does someone want to translate for me what Victoria said? Are they on? Are they dry? I think I might have put them on a little too soon. They weren't quite as dry as I like them. I just got super excited. Get ready to contour and everything else to bring it together. Okay, I'm gonna grab the other lash. Thank you, Victoria. And thank you for translating that for me. <laughs> so I am not, I get a lot of people that ask me if I'm Hispanic. I am not Hispanic at all. I am, do you guys want to guess? Let's see if you guys can guess my... Uh, guess what I am. I know. I really have considered about, like, considered taking it and learning it because I get so many people who think I'm Hispanic and they talk to me and I'm like, I don't know what you're saying. But you know what? It would be super beneficial. Yeah, I'm not Hispanic at all. I'm not Filipino. I really wonder if someone can guess it right. Not the people who know me. You guys can't guess. Keep trying, keep trying. Okay, after I've done lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and let them dry. We're gonna move on to contour. I'm using the Milani. This is in number five. <laughs> not black. I'm not Hawaiian. What am I looking for? Okay, we're bronzing. Bronze and bron or contour. Keep guessing, keep guessing. Come on, guys. Who can guess? Who can guess the nationality right? A few more guesses and then I'll tell you. I don't even know what the Kardashians are. <laughs> what are they? I don't even know their nationality. I'm mixed. I'm definitely mixed. <laughs> no, 
Nope, not Armenian. I like a lot of contour. I like it to be heavy. Okay, you guys ready? My eyes are contacts. <laughs> so. But, are you guys ready? I am half white and half Native American. I thought someone would have guessed. I mean, I have like this girl over here and the dream catcher. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, that doesn't, you know, really say much, but I feel like some people go off from it and they'll, that's how they guess me. But yeah, I am half white and half Native American. I'm American too. You are American. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you say Native American? I'm sorry. I'm a beautiful I'm in... Let's see. I seen where you said beautiful Mexican. Mexican all the way. I love Mexican. <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> of course you knew it. Yeah, so that's that's what the nationality is. No one was, well, no, someone did say white. I didn't see where you said Native American. I'm so sorry. Yes, I'm still blending. I take forever to blend everything. Um, Time. What's the time, Mr. Postman? What is the time? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's like an annoying hair. Let's get out of here. The tribe is the Ute tribe. Northern U, U. I feel like it doesn't show up on camera. I feel like me looking at the camera, I feel like it's not as dramatic as it is in person. Like, I'm just gonna keep adding until it looks dramatic enough to my liking. But the eyeshadow though, it is popping out. Yes. Yes, hunty. Oh, hunty Nobody. I know what that's Okay, we're gonna go into blush. Oh, cool. I'm using Milani. I guess I should open it. So this is Milani in number 11, Blossom Time Rose. It looks so dramatic, but you guys aren't seeing it. If I turn, there you go. Turn down my brightness. I'll keep throwing on this blush. Does that make a difference? Is it making a difference to you guys? I can't tell. Better? Is, it, is that better? No? Do you guys hate it? I don't know. Okay. Moving on. 
what are we moving on to? Highlight and then lips. Oh, you know what? Let's do mascara. So, mascara. I went to Ulta yesterday and I was like, ooh, they're having a sale. So, I'm going to buy some stuff because they're having a sale. I got the Stella. Is that how you say it? Stella? Stilla? Stilla. And this is the Huge Extreme Lash, Lash Mascara. And I'm going to, this is what I wanted to try out. Well. So I, I don't add mascara before the lashes. I add the mascara after because the lashes are so, um, yeah, I zoomed in as close as I wanted it to be. So, plus I'm, I get really close. Do you want me to zoom in? Because I can get you closer to my face if you want to be. <laughs> But yeah, I do mascara after. After I've applied the lashes. It's blush. What's blush? Yeah. Let's see. Is that close enough? Do you want to be closer? Now you all up in my business. I can actually see through the camera what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to add mascara. But, yeah, okay, let's add mascara and then I'm going to do some fun stuff. So I'm only focusing my mascara on this outer right here. And I'm not going to go all the way across my lash line. Where did my mirror go? Um... That doesn't bleed on the top lid. Like, does it like, it bleeds on the top lid? What do you, what do you mean? Like I know like some people have problems with it smearing and that could be just that your eyelashes are really long. So like when you open, it'll go to the top. Is that what you mean? I'm just squeezing my fake lashes to my real lashes. I need to get that clamp that they make for that. Okay, um, the only thing I can think of for that would be to, like how I used the fan at the beginning, I don't know if you were here in the beginning, but like I have one of these fans, and maybe when you do your mascara, if you keep down Get them all the way up and keep them down and then like dry them off before you open your eyes and look up. Okay, I also got this black liner. It was a new brand that they had at Walmart. So I feel I'm I feel weird with it being so close. Um, but this is called Lala Fox and it was new, so I picked it up and I was like, let's try that out. And it is it goes up, it's got a little twist, and this is what it looks like. So again, it, oh, it's got, what is, it's got the sharpener and the twister. Almost. Oh yeah, I like this. And it said it was a gel, a gel liner. I already like it. It's so dark. And that's exactly what I want. Oh yeah, I like that. 
I really, really like that. Again, it was called La La Fox. What did I do with the box? Okay, right here. I don't know if you guys can even see that because it's probably backwards. But it's called La La Fox and it has a little fox on that. That is so cute. Oh, that's cute. It's a gel liner. I'm just going to keep saying it over and over because I think it's really cool and it's a new brand. So get get you some. Okay, moving on to highlighter. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild. This is the, which one is this? This one is the Precious Petal. And I'm just going to take my finger and put some on my nose. And I'm going to run it across my cheek. Time, does someone wanna tell me the time, please? Okay, next I'm taking a brush like this. I'm going to pick up the highlighter again. I'm going to take my MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to give it a couple sprays. I'm going to go back right there. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm almost done. I just have to do my lips, okay? Like I said, his dad went to go pick up my car. So he's hanging out with me. Yes, give me life. And then I just kind of blend that blush back in there. So when you add the Fix Plus, it just helps to make it more pigmented. I'm going to do it one more time and I'm going to run over my nose. Run over my nose? Run, whatever. Okay. I'm just about done because my time is just about up and then I picked up this it's NYX and it is that's the point so it has a little ball on the end actually let's go ahead and move on to lips I'm taking the Mac this is velvet Teddy and I'm going to also take Milani in the color 04 line my lips It just glides on so good. I'm just so obsessed with Milani. So obsessed with it. Okay. And I'm going to apply the MAC on top of that. so pretty okay last thing and then I'm out of here so the inner eye I use the artist couture and gold digger okay taking that pen that I got from NYX we are going to add dots And then I will, I always go back over my 
eyelashes with eyeliner, but we're not gonna do that right now. Okay, so I'm gonna add these dots. I don't know when I'm gonna go live again. Sorry, I need to dry these circles. Um, Cause they'll start to leak into the creases. But I think I'm living for this new ballpoint eyeliner. I don't know when I wanna go live again. I have to wake up so early in the morning that I just don't think anyone's gonna be awake. I'm done. It's been fun. It was, it really was so much fun. I loved how everyone jumped in and decided what color eyeshadow I was going to use. So I'm living for it. I want to shout out to Makeup Goals for having me on here. I appreciate it. And like I said, it's been super fun. So go follow me on all my social medias and I will be posting more and more. Yeah, I'll definitely post some pictures probably on my snap. Because Snapchat sees everything first. So that's it. Let's see. So you can kind of see how much more dramatic it is when I turned on the light. But thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys continue to follow me. Yeah, so bye.